Well, good evening. It's Friday, February 21st. Scott and I are going to try to start this first section. Of... We started out down in the valley and down on the bottom and had a nice little climb to get up to this area. Up on this ridge now, you can kind of see over through there, across the, across the ravines on both sides. Kind of working our way back down a little bit now. We're hoping to get in, like I said, two to three miles this evening. We'll see where we are when it gets dark and then decide what our options are and kind of go from there. We, uh, it's been pretty nice so far, a couple of those stream crossings. It's nice to get up here higher where we can see a little sunshine. It makes us feel warmer if nothing else. So we'll try to find camp and we'll go from there. Well, we've had a little trouble finding a good campsite, so since it's, I don't know, six something and it is getting dark, we decided we would just keep on hiking. We're a little over four miles in, probably, somewhere thereabouts. It's seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, we're gonna keep hiking a little ways and then we'll find somewhere to camp for the night and then get up in the morning and we'll go from there. So, uh, but it's been a nice evening. Stars are starting to come out. It's a nice sunset. Um, temperature's not, I mean, it's cold, but it's not that bad. But uh, we'll just find a place here in a bit. But I figure it's just seven, so let's keep on trucking. Well, good morning, day two of uh, Shelter We Trace 2020. Uh, we end up hiking about four miles last night. Quit about, what, has got seven, 7.30, something seven, like that? 7.30, yeah. Somewhere thereabouts, set up camp. Got a little chilly down into the mid, mid to low 20s. Really pushing the boundaries for my 20 degree setup. Uh, feet were a little cold, nothing dangerous, but just not comfortable. I um, think neither one of us had a great night's sleep. Although I did hear Scott sawing some logs from time to time. <laughs> so, uh, but like I said, 7.30 in the morning now and we're getting ready to head out and see how many miles we can get in and how close to Moorhead. So, uh, Scott, any any words of encouragement for the, for the group? Try to get it done today. <laughs> we'll see, we got enough time. The question is, do we have enough energy? So we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We're right at three miles in for the day. Um, most of what we've been walking is similar to this. Kind of near the top of a ridge. Some gentle ups and downs. It's pretty crisp, sun peeking through over there. Um, but it's been pretty easy going for the most part been able to make pretty decent time so we'll just keep uh, trucking along and we ate kind of breakfast on the go the bad news is I forgot my coffee so not sure how we're gonna remedy that situation but maybe uh, I think I have some energize or something like that it's a drink mix that I can mix in that may be sufficient for the time being but uh, it's been pretty good trail so far starting to finally warm up Told Scott, my uh, when I was in the hammock, my feet were cold, and my hands were warm, and it's been the opposite when we've been hiking. But uh, finally, starting to thaw out. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's real crisp out this morning. We did see a good, quite a few turkeys back there that took off, and the evidence of them kind of scratching the ground at different spots. So, we're just gonna continue hiking and see how far we get, and uh, I'll update you as we progress. We're hiking this section down here in the bottom. We're between Dry Fork, I believe, and Holly Fork. The section is supposed to be around four miles or so in length. Well, two miles between those two, and then another two more miles to get to 64. So, nice little stream here that kind of runs down through. Kind of down here in the flat, so making some decent time, although we're 
I'm a little tired. Be ready for lunch and a break here before too terribly long. But but it's warmed up. No gloves at this point. Uh, stripped down down one layer, and I think the long underwear and other layers may have to come off before too terribly long. But uh, it's been enjoyable. The weather's nice. We're making good time. We've got just a little over three hours, three hours and 15 minutes in, and we got a little over probably between seven and seven and a quarter miles in this morning. So we're up around 11 to 12 total. So so we're we're doing good, making good progress, and uh, and having fun. This looks interesting. Pretty bouncy. My wife would love this. She loves these types of heights. <laughs> with, with rickety. Oh, nice bounce head sway. That's awesome. <laughs> I said Sharon would love this. She hates like this type of heights. When we went zip lining down in the gorge, that's what it was. These kinds of these types of things. Well, we're still trucking along. We're on the section that's south of 64. And as you can see, much of this is road, is a gravel road. So it does make for us to be able to walk at a little bit better pace. Uh, maybe a little less scenic, but still, still nice. Uh, maybe a little easier on the ups and downs than the previous. We've only seen one car driving since we've been on this road, one parked to the side of the road. And we've been on here for two and a half miles or so. So looks like we're on this for a little while longer and then we'll see where we go from there. Well, we end up getting somewhere between 19 and 20 miles on the shelter. We, we uh, took the Rodburn Trail or down to Rodburn Park, um, down that way, a lot of downhill. Didn't look like we was going to make it all the way to Moorhead in time for our ride. And uh, it was before dark either. So. We weren't really about night hiking and we put a lot of miles in today and we're pretty tired so we did uh, 16 before we got to this trail at least so so we're hiking down my knees are definitely feeling it it's going downhill so it's uh pretty down if you here though a nice stream down there at the bottom and i don't know if you can see that there or not but we'll end up near uh, rodburn park and uh, that'll end it for today uh, she, my wife is going to pick us up and we really appreciate her picking us up and driving the hour and a half to Moorhead to pick us up and uh, take us take Scott back to his vehicle and so we appreciate that and we'll probably try to get a little food before we leave Moorhead as well so I may update you on the food situation in a bit if not get outside